That isn't the cutest little face. Southwest Florida is home to a lot of fun, cute, and interesting animals. And a great place to learn about them is the Peace River Wildlife Center. That is also where you will find Executive Director Robin Jacobs, who's also cute and beautiful. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this little guy, tell us about him. He's just a baby. So a little baby Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. Uh, one of many who've been brought to us, especially recently with all the rain. Yeah, that we've been so tell us, how does the rain that we've been getting affect the wildlife here in Southwest Florida? Yeah, do, you, do you see it really having an effect? Absolutely. You know, the high winds will knock birds' nests and squirrel nests out of trees. A lot of flooding will, will cause the, the shallow divots that rabbits make their nests in. Uh, they'll flood the babies out. Oh, and then they don't have a um, home. So, we so how'd you get this little guy? Someone brought him in? Somebody brought him in, found him as a little baby in their yard, brought him into us and he'd been bottle fed. Um, actually, we have to put a tube into their stomach to get enough formula into their little bellies to keep them alive. It's uh, it's a very difficult species actually to to raise effectively. Well, that's what I asked. I was wondering if this is what a lot of people like to keep as rabbits. Right. I mean, people, people do have bunnies as pets, but this them, is not a good yeah, breed, you say, no, to they, do that. They find the babies and they are so adorable, so they think, well, I'll just keep it and raise it myself. And it almost and always ends tragically. Oh no! It's, it's really They're just difficult. really hard to feed. It it is. It's hard to get a formula that uh, approximates what mom rabbit has. Mm. Uh, you know, we, we have a special formula that we buy. And uh, but this guy, you were able to to. He yes. is a success uh, story, right? He's going to he be released soon. He's going to be released soon. Yeah. He's uh, he's uh, lapping formula out of a bottle or out of a. Um, like a bowl. Now. Okay. Right. Uh, he's off the bottle and he's starting to eat solids Aww. and greens. So he's on his way. They grow so quickly. Uh, you know, by the time they're weaned by mom, uh, she's already pregnant yeah. again. Ready for the next batch. Can you imagine? So goes the way of bunny life. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Well, and this isn't because you've cared for this little guy. I mean, is he he is okay to put? I mean, even though he's been introduced to humans, and he is, he'll we, be fine to survive on right. his own. We we try really hard. You know, as soon as they're done bottle feeding, we don't handle them as okay. much anymore. We try to okay. keep them as wild as possible. That's why he keeps popping yeah. every now and then when he sees us moving. His, oh. his instincts are taking yeah. over. Well, I, I know it takes money to raise these little. This is right. just one of I don't know how many animals do you have over at the Wildlife right. Center. Oh, we've got hundreds yeah. over there. Yeah. So it takes some money to do that right. and. And uh, you guys have a great event. I'm so excited yeah. uh, about this and yeah. for you guys. You're pitting kind of the, the police department against the fire department in Punta right. Gorda, right? right? Explain how this works. Exactly. I love this. Well, uh, guns versus hoses. Uh, the fire, the poli uh, Punta Gorda Police Department uh -huh. is taking on the Punta Gorda Fire Department mm -hmm. in a basketball game. And the proceeds go to support Peace River Wildlife And this Wildlife is the first time Center. you guys are doing this, yes. right? So yes. hopefully it'll be a big success and then yes. it'll be an annual event, right. maybe. Exactly. So you get t-shirts, right? It's $10. Right. For $10, you get a red t-shirt to, to support, support the firemen. The fire department, yay. Or the women, or firewomen. A, a blue t-shirt supports the uh, police department. And then that's your admission to the game. You can uh, find out about buying the t-shirt by going on our website, peaceriverwildlifecenter.org, or give us a call yeah. at 941-637-3830. Uh, and uh, if you you know you don't get a chance to buy your T-shirt in advance, you can just pay for admission okay, so to the you game. Can go. Where is the game being held? The game will be held at Charlotte High School Gymnasium. Okay. It's Friday the 21st at 6 p.m. All right, I know it's going to be a great time. I'm so, so if so anyone excited. wants to find out more information about the upcoming uh, game or how to be a volunteer, maybe how you can donate. Mm -hmm. I know you're always looking for donations and yes, for volunteers. Well, you know, or if someone just wants to come and check out the animals. Right, right. What would you yeah, have them do? Um, check out our website. It's Peace River wildlifecenter.org or give us a call at 941-637-3830. Oh, he jumped right into the glass there. He's ready to be released. <laughs> he He's ready to go. Robin, thank you so much for being here. Good luck thank on the you. event. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. I know, we look I forward wait. to having you yeah. back and hearing all about it. We're going to have um, our glove trained birds are going to be oh, there. Good. Kelly's going to have Bella, the great horned owl, and I'm going to have Luna. The oh, little that's Charles uh, mascot. Albino. Yeah. All right. Hopefully this guy will have a great success story. He'll be released soon. So, thank yep. you, Robin. Thanks. We'll send it over to Steph. He looked like he's just getting his hop down. Pretty cute. All right. Up next, how to give the gift of planned giving and how it can help save a life. Stay with us.